Hello everybody, welcome to another part in the Remaking Door series. Today, it's going to be a quick one, it's just going to be how to add sound to different things, so sound design. Um, since this one's not really going to be a long one, I might upload another one today, or and if not today, then 100% tomorrow, one uh, an episode will be uploaded of something, you know, better than sound design. But I just want to, I saw a couple comments, like how do I add sounds to stuff, that uh, I just wanted to make a quick tutorial. So, First thing we're going to add sounds to is the Rush AI. So to do this, we're going to go to Toolbox. We're going to go to Audio. Let's just get like a, a static sound. This should work. We're gonna take that. We're gonna take that uh, static sound that we have, <clears throat> and we're gonna put it inside of uh, primary. And we can just uh, we'll loop that. Just click loop. Don't hit. Uh, don't click play though. Once we have that, we'll throw it inside back of replicate storage. Inside of generation rush. Um, we're going to go into our function rush.move, we're going to say local uh, primary come on equals model we'll find first child primary if primary then actually you know what no um no, 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 rush that move is good. Okay, primary dot static colon play. So now if we hit play, it should play static when he's coming. I hope. As you can see, it was playing static. You can make it louder because that was kind of low. But, um, yeah, you can make it, like, louder. Like, you can make it, like, volume uh, 2, 3, 4, whatever you want to make it. Just experiment with it. Also, another thing you can experiment with is the roll-off mode. So you can do, like, linear or something like that. Just, what, just experiment with the sound and, you know, make it to your liking. Another thing I saw was, uh, well, not another thing I saw, but another thing we can add sound to is the doors. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and look up a door open sound. That one's good. Let's go ahead and go up here. We're going to cut that out. We're going to go inside of the door inside of replicated storage. We're going to put this inside of the primary. And then we're going to go inside of our handler script. And then we are just going to say um, right here. Um, door model dot primary, not primary part dot primary, or you could do primary part. I think that would work too. Dot door open corn play. <coughs> And we're going to copy this and we're going to put it inside of our start room door because that's separate from the other doors. So we'll also say, well, the start room door is the same. So um, uh, let's go ahead and make it not the same. So we'll just go inside this. E bounce. <coughs> And 
then right here we will say um, we'll just paste that code and make sure you get that uh, sound from here and you put it inside of that primary part so now if we hit play everything should be working uh, smoothly as you can see that played the sound Again, make the volume however you would like, play around with it, you know, um, make it to your liking. So that's how you add sounds to the doors. What other stuff is there to add sounds to? Um, we could add sound to the drawers. So let's go ahead and find drawer open. Okay, and then a drawer close. Okay, awesome. We will cut those out. Um, we will paste them inside of our generation script. And um, For I it uh, drawer in pairs, uh, we're gonna say this. We're gonna say <clears throat> we're gonna say this. We're gonna say local new open sound equals uh, script dot drawer open called clone new. Oh wait, local new close sound equals script dot drawer close colon clone new open sound uh, parent and actually let me just make sure um if drawer colon find first child um drawer open or drawer colon find first child drawer close then and then we'll say else we're just checking we don't want multiple of the sounds in there then um, <clears throat> we will put those actually no no, no. drawer dot primary part because the primary parts of the drawers um, is what the base yeah so the draw dot primary part. And then we'll say new close sound equals drawer dot primary part. New open sound e dot parent equals drawer dot primary part. Make sure you do dot parent. I didn't do dot parent here, do dot parent. And I just want to run that really quick. So if we uh, look inside one of these drawers in the base, it should be, okay, good. And all of them is there? Okay, good. So now you can see there's sound inside of all of the bases, which is what we want. <clears throat> so now when we interact with the drawer, we're gonna go up here, we're gonna play those sounds. So. Um, So this is closing it, so, and then this is opening it. So, um, so right here we'll say if drawer dot primary part colon find first child, actually, you know, we'll put it right here. We'll say local open sound equals drawer colon find first child drawer open if open sound and then open the sound on play and then we will just go ahead and grab this one put it down here we'll change this to close sound draw close um yeah and then we'll just do that and replace the open with the close 
So let's go ahead and see if this is working now. So no drawers, of course we get a room with no drawers, but that's okay. Alrighty. Again, that sounds kind of loud. You guys could change it. But now, all of the drawers have sounds. Which is pretty cool. Again, there's other stuff you can add sounds to, like the coins. You could do a coin pickup sound. Um, I hope this could, this, you know, doing these three, the drawers, the doors, and rush could help you with adding sounds to other things, like the coin. To do the coin, you just have to add it when they pick it up. Or actually, it's pretty simple. Uh, when, when you pick up the coin, you remove it. So if you want to add a, a coin sound. Then all you have to do is just cut this, the sound. So not cut it, but take the sound, put it in coin pickup. And then just hit play on click this little thing in properties called play on remove so now if we go ahead hopefully we get a coin very fast because i want to show you that this works so room one come on give me a room with some drawers in it all right come on there's gotta be coins in here all right look see that pretty simple now all your coins have uh, sounds when you pick them up see that so oh and now rush is coming um, any more coins any more coins yep so there you go that's how you add sounds to your coins so that's how you do sound some sound design for your game again you guys can add sound to whatever you want uh, hopefully this tutorial serves as a, you know, you know, help for adding sounds to other things. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, I love reading all of them. Uh, please leave them in the comments below as well. Uh, seen a lot of people saying figure, ambush, trust me, they're all coming. I just wanted to make, I saw a couple comments saying like, how do I add sounds to certain things? So I was just like, you know what, let me put together a quick video how to add sound design to your game. <clears throat> We hit 250 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. We're a fourth of our way to a thousand, which is very crazy. Um, so let's just keep growing. Let's keep growing as a community. Um, and yeah, that's really it. If you like the, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, subscribe. It's very uh, appreciated and helpful. Uh, and yeah, that's it for today's tutorial. Hopefully, maybe another one coming out today. But if not, definitely tomorrow. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.